I would say it's a multimedia performance of painting stories and songs about women who have defied and defined categorization throughout history. Um, and some of it is historical and some of it is very personal. She left the institution and found the Moulin Rouge, the Red Mill, which opened its doors for the first time in 1889. Paris, Montmartre, cabaret acts, vaudeville, bohemians and outcasts, her tribe. She took the stage name Jane Avril and just kept doing what she could not do, dance. They called the dance she invented the can-can. Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec fractured both his femurs as a child. They say that may have contributed to his later height. He only reached just above four and a half feet tall. But his parents were also first cousins. He suffered from all kinds of conditions. Friends with Van Gogh and Monet, he never really quite fit in with the painters he was among in the Paris salons. So he went looking for and found inspiration in the fringes, the beckoning doorways, the dark alleys, the salacious dances, the red lights of the night, and eventually his friend, his muse, and his obsession, Jane Avro. Together they created a wildly successful ad campaign for the Moulin Rouge and single-handedly turned advertising into not only a respected art form, but a mode for dissemination, expression, and communication that would influence artists of the 20th century from Norman Walkwell to Andy Warhol. So, friend said to me, you have one week to write a song with the words feather boa in it. And there she was, Jane. Tired, exhausted, working, looked at and ogled over, but somehow still in control of the looking. Was Henri in love with Jean? Did he trade portraits for private dances? Did she make him pay? Did her girlfriends, yes, those kinds of girlfriends, did they mind that this tiny man was always hanging around? That he would create one of the most recognized pinups, at once virtuous and untouchably sensual. Who had a taste for the dark and the downtrodden as much as he had a taste for absinthe. Who would die at 36? It's 1889, it's Paris, it's the Moulin Rouge. Yes, you can, can Jane of Ruby? Show them all how it's done. One glimpse of stocking is still a thrill. But you don't see how many times they're mended. Yes, you can, can Jane of Ruby? A feather boa and some frayed silk. You lift your skirt and their hearts to still. You made them think this is right, they're missing. Oh, that you put on. Took it off so you don't have to take it on. 